Okay, so <clears throat> I'm a little uh, I'm a little on edge right now. I just got out of the library, and you know, I've always I've I've dismissed uh, slut shaming as not that big of a deal. I always thought, oh, the people are exaggerating it when they talk about it. Uh, that they're probably just fishing for attention. It's, it's like it's it's a it's a fake boogeyman that they made up. But uh, I take it back. It, it's it is a big problem, and we shouldn't stand for it. Uh, I was in the library. Um, you know, right behind me, the library, and uh, it's a nice, quiet place to relax. You know, get on the internet, read. So I was reading the Goosebumps, and I got to a particularly scary uh, end of the chapter, and I gasped. I'm sorry. I know you're supposed to be quiet in there, but I gasped. It was spooky. And the slut uh, shushed me. I don't need to be shamed by her in a public space. So something really does need to be done about slut shaming, because that slut should not be shaming me for involuntarily gasping at something that I was terrified by. I mean, I collected myself, I turned the page, and it wasn't the monster, it was like her friend pulling a prank on her. And I was immediately relieved, but I was enjoying the book. I was getting swept in to R.L. Stein's scary world. And then that slut had to go and ruin it for me. I mean, you should be able to read a book at the library. My roommates, my roommates, they're always playing loud, explicit content, uh, hip hop. So I figured I could get away for a half hour, read a goosebump. But, you know, just that slut shaming me ruined it. So we need to, you know, band together and do something about the slut shaming. I'm, I'm serious. I am. I don't know what I don't know what distressed me worse, either that slut shaming me, or that uh, that that when I thought a monster was gonna get the kid, but both got my heart racing and both really distressed me. Uh, thank you for taking this seriously, okay? It's not a joke. Thank you.